Okay, who thinks they have a good theory? Which ones are going to change? Go ahead, Johnny. Uh, the one with the food. And what's going to change about it? It's going to have a negative. Let's check that out and see if that's true. If I were going to do sine, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's 3 over square root of 34. Was that the same as last time? Check your notes. Yes, it was. Okay, cool. So then when I go to cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, that's going to be a negative 5 over the square root of 34. The only difference between last time is there's a negative. And then when I do tangent, that's opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be negative 3 over 5. So the ones that involve the adjacent now have a negative with them. Okay. Now, does it matter if the negative goes on bottom or top or out in front? I just usually put it in top just to avoid confusion, but it's the same, really. Okay, let's keep going with cosecant. We're just going to flip that over, so that's squared of 34 over 3. Secant, we're going to flip that the cosine over, so that's a negative square root of 34 over 5. And lastly, with the cotangent, that will just turn into negative 5 thirds. Okay, cool beans, you okay with that? What we're going to find is as we go from quadrant to quadrant to quadrant to quadrant, if our angle, if our sides are the same, all the trig ratios are going to be the same, but we're going to add in negative depending on which quadrant we're in, okay? All right, now, we're going to rewrite sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, cotangent. Instead of thinking of it in terms of opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, we're going to think of it in terms of x, y, and r. And if you're like, where did we get r from, is basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at this from a circle's perspective. So what do you think R stands for if we're talking about circles? Radius, okay, so let me, that didn't do what I wanted to do, let's try it again. So what we're gonna do is think of our coordinate plane like this, and then what we're gonna do is we're going to draw a circle, and let's hope my circle looks decent here. Ish, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is when I choose a point on that circle, I can make a triangle, and this triangle is going to have an X, a Y, and an R. And I'm sorry, that's a really small picture. But the X, Y, R are all going to relate to things that we've done before. The X is going to replace our adjacent side. The Y is going to replace our opposite side. And the R is going to replace our hypotenuse. So all of these ratios that we have here, it's really the same thing we've seen before. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse, but you need to start figuring out in your brain that when you see opposite, you're thinking y, and y is opposite, which relates to sine. Cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, but we're going to think of it adjacent as x, and the hypotenuse is r. And then last but not least, we're going to have that the tangent is opposite over adjacent, but opposite is y, adjacent is x. Keeping in mind that you can't let your denominator be zero, we can't divide by zero, or what? What do we get if it's dividing by zero? A big mess, undefined. Okay, we don't like that. Okay. So now, let's look at the angle 315. Which quadrant is 315 going to be in? Now let's, let's go through and label our angles, okay? Is it greater than 890? Yeah, is it greater than 180? Greater than 270? Yes, but does it make it all the way to 360? No, so what we're going to have here is we are going to have, here's my initial side, and it goes all the way. How far into it does it go? It actually goes halfway. It goes 45 degrees in here. Now, I can't do Sokotoa of 315 because that angle is bigger than 180, right? All the angles add up to 180 in a triangle. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use its reference angle. And that's why we went over reference angles at the start of class. In a reference angle, we use the terminal side and the x-axis. 
So it's going to look like this. Now, here's the question, the burning question here, is that if this purple angle is 315 degrees, what is the measure of the red triangle's angle? 45. How did you get 45? There you go, this should make one full circle, which is 360, right? Now, why do we like 45 degree triangles? Yeah, what are the sides? We went over this at the start. Great, let's let x, x equal 1. So then what is this? 1, 1, square root of 2. Awesome, so now I can go in and I could say, hey, this is my angle. This would be my which side? Adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. And we could figure out Sokotoa Cho Sha Kao. Except I actually made a mistake on this. I didn't label it correctly. What is my mistake? See if you can figure it out with your group. I'll give you 20 seconds to think about what's wrong on this picture. And if you're struggling to figure it out, think about the other examples we've been doing and what's been different as we're changing around quadrants. Who thinks they see it? Besides Johnny, Johnny can't talk. <laughs> what's wrong with my picture here? Hey, go back with me on this example, guys. How is this triangle different than the one we did right before it? It was still using 5 and 3, right? Which is what we did here. But the difference was what? The negative because it was in the second quadrant. Well, what if I'm in the fourth quadrant? Is anything going to be negative here? The y value is going to be negative because do you see how it's going down? So now when I do Sokotoa Cho Sha Kao, anything that involves the opposite will have a negative. Okay? So let's hurry and just do Sokotoa Cho Sha Kao. Let's send this to six more people. We're going to have Ariana, you're taking sine, Johnny, cosine, Valerie, tangent, Rayanne, cosecant, Natalie, secant, and Mariana, cotangent. All right, let's start it off. Ariana, what did you get for sine? Awesome. Jonathan? Uh, Valerie. Okay, and then let's go to Rayanne. And I'll just write that as negative square root of 2. Great. Natalie, secant. Great. And then Mariana. Okay. Now, if I were to compare these with another angle that used 45 degrees, like if I did 45 degrees, or if I did 135 and drew the reference angle here, or if I did 225, we're going to see these same ratios, but all that's going to change is what's positive, what's negative. Okay? Same kind of thing there. All right. We're, we're kind of running out of time, but we're getting there. You guys are doing awesome. Stay with me just a little bit longer. So here's going to be kind of our general approach. If you're asked to figure out 
Sokotoa Chosau Tau of an angle. What we're going to do is we're going to draw the angle first. Okay? And then what we're going to do is basically make a triangle out of it and figure out what the sides are. Then we'll use Sokotoa and go from there. Most of the times it will be a special right triangle, so we can use what we learned about special right triangles to help us out. So let me show you a couple of examples. I don't think we're going to get all the way through, but we're going to get close. Let's do sine of negative 210. Okay? Now to start this out, let's get some help here from Kaylee with graphing negative 210. So first off, Kaylee, what does that negative do? If I'm graphing the angle and it has a negative, which direction are we going? Clockwise? Yes, good job. So that means I'm going to start here with my initial side. That was kind of ugly, whatever. That's zero. So this is negative 90, negative 180, negative 270, and then we'd make it back around to negative 360. Do we get past negative 90 if we're doing negative 210? Yes. Do we get past 180? Yeah. Yes. Do we get, how much past that do we go? Yeah, so we're going, we don't get to negative 270, we only get 30 degrees, oh. 30 degrees into it. Does that make, is that important that it's 30 degrees? Yes, because then what kind of triangle can we make? 30, 60, 90. So that's 30, 60, 90. Now, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we, we've kind of talked about what side lengths we're going to use. We're going to let this be 1, 2, square root of 3. That's what we learned from doing our 30, 60, 90. We also saw that at the start of class today. However, what's going to be different here? This isn't correct the way it's drawn. This is correct if we're in the first quadrant, but since we're in the second quadrant, what needs to change? What's negative? The x value is negative. Boom. But since we're going up, that's positive. And then the hypotenuse is always positive because you get it by squaring the other ones. That gets rid of any negative. OK, so we want to do the sine. So which trig ratios does sine use? Or which sides does sine use? Opposite and hypotenuse. So if I do negative 270, that's going to give me 1 over 2, so it's just 1 half. Could you check that on your calculator? Do it real quick. Put in sign of negative 210 and see if it gives you 1 half. What'd you get? 1 half? Yeah. Cool, let's try and get B and C and we'll call it a day. Okay? When I do B, it's, what do you notice first off? What mode is it in? Radians. I don't like radians. How do I change that into degrees? This will be on your quiz, so we should know this. Go ahead, Natalie. Good job. That way the pi's cancel. And this turns into 300 degrees. Okay, so if I were to graph 300, that's going to take me into the fourth quadrant. But I don't do a full rotation. How much is still left over here? Like, what is the reference angle going to be? It's 60 degrees. Hey, do we like 60 degrees? Yeah, that's part of our, let's draw the reference angle here. That's the terminal side and the x-axis. What I've just made is this is a 60 degree angle, that's 30. Well, in a 30, 60, 90, my sides are 1, 2, square root of 3. But what is going to be negative? X or Y or both negative or none? The Y is negative. Good job. Now, we're asked to find the tangent. 
tangent uses opposite over hypotenuse. So the tangent of 5 pi thirds is going to be negative square root of 3 over 1. So that's just going to be negative. Oh, I put that totally wrong. That's not hypotenuse. That's adjacent. Sorry. Opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be negative square root of 3 over 1. you have any questions on how I did B? I changed 5 pi thirds into degrees because I like degrees better. So it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle and I did tangents opposite over adjacent. Okay, let's just pause right there actually and let me debrief you for next time, okay?